This is a grade three math practice test for T and ready. This is question on this version number 18. We are in a calculator allowed section. Not 100% sure whether you'll use that or not here, but you might. Brandon's swim practice began at 315. It ended at the time shown by the arrow. So I might, if I were that type, go ahead and write down what time it ended. So 4 p.m. That way I have both numbers together and I can see them. How many minutes did Brandon spend at swim practice? Enter your answer in the space provided. Now, the big thing about this is the difference between how time deals with flipping over to the next value and how pretty much everything else does. Time doesn't work on a base 10 system, so it doesn't go to 100 and flip over. As you probably know, there are 60 minutes in an hour. So anytime I need to break down hours into groups, I'm always going to think about how the clock does it because it does a pretty good job. The one, the analog clock, the circle one that you may or may not have in your classroom. But anyway, between 3 and 4, you will notice that it is 1, 2, 3, 4 groups. So I think to myself, okay, I have this circle, and I'm just going to pre-warn you that this is going to be one of the worst circles you've ever seen, because I do not draw very well, especially with this thing. And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to break that time into four groups. The good news is the plus is actually worse than the circle, and they're both bad. So you'll notice that this one probably has the 12, but that's where we start a new hour that's zero. The next group, which has a 3 next to it on the clock, is 15 minutes. The next group would be 30 minutes. And the next group would be 45. What if I can't remember how it's broken down? Well, if I can remember that, yeah, we have um, 60 minutes in an hour, I can just say 60 divided by 4, and each part will be worth 15 minutes. So if I have it 15, I add 15. Put that number there, I add 15 again, I put that number there, and then I add 15 again, and it takes me to 60, which is 0 is the same as 60 on a clock because it starts over. Right? Now I can look to see how any of this applies to the problem I'm working in. He starts at 315. Well, if I know that after, if I break it into 1, 2, 3, 4 parts, I know that to get to 315, I just have to go... One. So this is where he starts out. And the nice thing is, since I've already written out some stuff, I'm going to get rid of my some of my bounces. I can just count to see how many groups are left. One, two, three groups. And that would make sense, right? Each one of these is 15, and since I already have stuff written down, it should be easy to count. 15, 30... 45. Or you can say, how long is it from 3.15 to 4 o'clock? 45 minutes. So if I'm going from here to here, and I remember that this is actually 60. Well, that was ugly, wasn't it? I should have just released it, or erased it a little bit. I can change this to 60, and the hours don't really have anything to do with anything. I can make this a 3 if I want. And then I just do some quick subtraction there. Regroup a little bit. 45 minutes. Or I can just count over 15, 30, 45. Or I could even go from here and count over from this point. This is 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. And 15 times 3 is 45. And again, this is a calculator allowed section. If you don't know what 15 times 3 is, use the calculator. If you don't know um, how many, how to break 60 second or 60 minutes up into four equal parts, use the calculator to do it for you. There's no shame in using a calculator in theory. It's a tool. If you are a carpenter, you're not going to try to hit a nail in with your hand. You're going to use a hammer. But you're also not going to try to use... Um, you know, a hammer to pat somebody on the back, you're going to use your hand to do that because it's the right tool for the job. So when you don't need a calculator, don't use it, but don't be afraid to use it if you have it and you need it. It's okay. Again, this one you don't have to actually carry anything over, so just make sure that you write 45 so you can read it, and then it carries over to your answer sheet 
in a way that you can reproduce it to get the full points for all the hard work that you do.